All right, hey Capricorn, you guys saw I'm doing the read. Is this the one um, for the person that's on your mind? So you're gonna know if this is your read um, by the situation, all right? Um, I apologize if you can hear a little background noise. If this read doesn't resonate, you guys check your other placements, your moon rising and Venus signs. And um, subscribe if you haven't, please. And thank you for Capricorn. The current situation for Capricorn and the person that's on their mind. Wow, really? Okay, you guys could be seeing 666, um, all right, confirmation for who this might be for. All right, so this is a deep um, past life soul connection between you and this person, Kat, um, but the situation has been imbalanced, all right? It's been imbalanced for some time. With the Eight of Pentacles, I feel like the desire to work on this connection has been there for some time. Okay, but I feel like there has been um, a, a great imbalance when it comes to this connection. I almost feel like somebody is thinking of one person in Empress energy and the other person's kind of, um, I don't want to say thinking about themselves, but not not putting as much thought into the connection um, as you are willing to or vice versa. Okay, so I feel like one person's really thinking heavily about this situation, wanting to work on it. There's been imbalance. All right, um, what I feel is... Um, you guys could be in union or you could not be in union, but I do feel like one partner is putting way more energy and thought into the connection than the other person. Um, and I do feel like with the six of pentacles, I feel in, in this particular spread, it's coming out as a representation of imbalance and not balance. All right. So let's just see what your person's energy is for cap. What's this person's energy that they're dealing with? All right, so you guys have been in um, a bit of a conflict. So you guys could have gotten in a fight, argument. Um, about, and I feel like it's about deepening the connection. I feel like you guys both feel this strong connection. But somebody's putting more into it. And in Capricorn, I feel like it's you. It's like, we're, uh, what are we going to do? What is this? What's going on here? Okay. Um, and I feel like almost you voicing your opinion. All right. That this person makes you very happy. Well, you make me happy. I make you happy. So what's the deal? Why can't we be together? All right. Um, you made an offer, but I feel like because you're bringing it, bringing it to this person's attention, it causes this conflict. Okay. Um, the person that you're dealing with, I feel like you look at them as um, this empress energy, but I don't feel like they like to be called out um, like you've called them out. So let's just see what their situation is. What is this person's situation that Capricorn is dealing with? They're feeling... Wow. Okay. The, okay, the person that you're feeling with, I'm going to tell you this. They feel just as deeply for you as you do them. But with the Seven of Wands coming out, I feel like this is... Um, they're blocking... They're, they probably have to like explain to other people why they feel for you, what they do, and they're getting tired of it. Um, but I feel like they're, they're taking on the energy of everybody else over you. All right. And I feel like with that high priestess card, this is where that balance of divine feminine energy needs to happen for this person. Okay. Because look at, let me, let me tell you this. It's very rare that we get two, um, energies of the same suit on the drop King and queen of pentacles. Capricorn, you and this person um, are divine counterparts. You know it. This person recognizes it, but they're um, too busy being in um, ego. They're too busy being 3D. They're too busy worried about what everybody else thinks to um, actually focus on you. Okay. Um, how do they feel? Is that correct? I don't know where I'm at. I just got on a roll right there, guys. I'm sorry. <clears throat> the situation, their energy. Mm -hmm. 
their situation. They reckon, okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I get all like into this shit, guys, and I, I lose track. All right, so how does this person um, feel about Capricorn? <clears throat> they can see you guys like husband and wife and team. How do they feel about Capricorn? They, they want, okay, so you guys have not been talking. Um, yeah, look at that. How do they feel about you? You guys have not been talking. You guys have been on a break. You guys have not been talking like you should be talking. Let me say that. All right. How do they feel about you? They can see co-creation with you. This person can see um, a life with you. But they're not telling you that because you guys have been on this break period. And I feel like it's because of everybody else. The outside influences. Um, how do they feel about you? You are their soulmate. And they feel that. And they do want a new beginning with you. But you don't know that because they're not talking to you. Um... So with this person that you're dealing with for this lifetime, do they have the potential to be the one? Does this person have the potential to be the one? Oh my God, Capricorn. I don't know who I'm talking to. All right. But you guys have not been in, in um, the communication like you should be. Um, your angels, their guides, your guides. Um, this is coming back around with the judgment card. This is the angel of the past. Okay. Okay. This is a representation um, of the situations coming back around. It doesn't matter what happens. All right, look at the two of cups, the lovers, double confirmation on the soulmate. This person does have the potential to be the one. And where this, when this situation comes back, there's going to be a lot of passion. All right, um, that's been that that gets reignited in between you guys. Um, it, the feminine comes out and embodies. Um, the true divine feminine, all right, um, non-code, not non-codependent, um, all right, I feel like this person is influenced by outside factors, and I feel like they come in this energy where they, that those factors no longer serve them, so they move forward with you, and if it's a male, um, he's, he's, a uh, dropping the ego, coming into this own, where he's being more loving, more nurturing, um, making you feel more secure in the connection, all right, so what do you need to know about this person? What does Capricorn need to know about this person? What does Capricorn need to know about this person? Yeah. We have divine feminine. You guys are you guys are counterparts. This is a past life connection, all right? And it is coming back around. Here's your com confirmation. This person feels it too, all right? And this person has been pretty upset that you guys have not been talking. Um, it could be it could be that you guys have been not talking for some time. It could just be that this person has been stressed about it for some time, okay? But what do you need to know about them? They do want to heal this connection um, no matter how long it takes, all right? There's divine feminine, divine masculine. We have the lovers. We have the two of cups. Um, everything that, that points to, this is like twin flame. This is soulmate, past life soulmate, whatever it is you believe in. All right. This, this, whoever I'm talking to, this is it. I, I just feel like there is somebody who is completely, um, lost in what every other 3d and, and ego person deals with in their life. So they're more concerned about what others say. All right. than this connection and they feel the same way you do, but they're too busy focused on what everybody else says, you know? So, um, is this situation going to involve commitment? Does this involve commitment? All right. So once you guys get past this bullshit, <clears throat> I feel like you guys are it, it being, um, I don't want to say ignorant. It's not ignorant. It's like, you guys are both being stubborn, like really stubborn right now. Okay. Um, this does have the potential to move forward once you guys heal the stubbornness. It's like you guys are both equally not talking to each other. You both feel equally offended. You both feel equally like something was done. All right. And once you drop out of that, that, that shit, this does have the potential to move forward and it does have the potential for commitment. Um, here's what I'm going to say about this connection, Capricorn. This is like, this is going to be one of those true, true blue um, relationships. 
Um, but somebody is so worried about what everybody else thinks. Somebody is so going off of what everybody else says. They're not allowing their, their, they're not allowing their feelings to surpass anybody else. All right. Um, and what's going to happen if, if you guys don't pull out of it this lifetime, <laughs> you guys come back. Um, and there's nothing wrong with coming back, but do you want to come back and live the same like freaking lifestyle? Um, because when we don't get to the end, we don't ascend. Okay. When we don't, when we don't get to the end under the soul contract that we've, um, made for ourselves, we don't get to ascend, ascend. We come back, um, from my, from my, what I feel. Okay. You can disagree with me. That's fine. But that's just what I feel. If you don't repair <laughs> this lifetime, you get to come back and try to do it again. Okay. So I feel like you both recognize this connection, but there is such a potential for you guys to, 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 um, fuck it off that you're going to be back at it again, but it doesn't have to be because you guys both feel the same. I'm, I'm getting so worked up on this connection Capricorn because I'm like, well, you guys both feel it. So what's going on here? All right. You guys are both stubborn and hard headed. I, I'm going to say that. Don't be mad at me. I love you guys. What's your advice? What is Capricorn's advice? All right, here it is, okay? The potential right here from your team, your angel guide, your angel, your spirit guides, your angels, spirit guides. All right, the connection is here. The potential for wish fulfillment, the solid form of wish fulfillment is here and you guys have the potential to make it, all right? Y'all gotta stop worrying about what everybody else thinks and you gotta also not bring up that past, okay? You know, like fuck the past. Close the cycle on it, the world card close the cycle on this all right you both have waited you're both waiting for each other to come around but your team is saying stop just close the cycle on it and don't be a bullhead um you're gonna know who you are you're gonna know who i'm talking to i'm not talking to somebody who is like well what if i reach out and they don't answer i'm not talking to that person i'm talking to the one who's who's like i know that if i reach out this person will respond um because we got to talk about this right here Okay, that's who I'm talking to. And I'm sorry if I offended anybody in saying that, but this is not a questionable um, thing right here. You both know that this is it, but you're both being stubborn. Capricorn, <laughs> let's see what your spirit guides have to say or your, your person, all right, by way of the soulmate card. So I'm going to pull a card and it's going to be a message through your, your spirit guides or it's going to be right from your partner. So let's just see what Capricorn's message is. Wow, you guys see? Gosh. Let me just say this, man. I, 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 I have every bit of faith in everything that I do. Look at a profound traumatic transformation is taking place in your life be yourself you have much to offer the world by just being you you your love has the power to transform all things including your relationship and love life all right surrender i can't yeah i'm done no surrender all that no longer serves you let all that remains be buried let all that remains buried in your heart come to the surface and be healed. Let there be a space for new energies to enter. A new beginning transforms darkness into light. Okay, and I, and look, at, here's what I'm going to say. If you're dealing with somebody and you are holding on to negative um, thoughts because this person didn't choose you, let them go. All right, your person's embodying 3D and ego, but they're going to come out of it. All right, when you have faith and you know that the situation can be brought to light, Cap, it will be. All right, I love you guys. Please let me know who this is resonating with, um, please. And I, I just love you guys to death. Thank you so much. All right, bye.